Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today we are going to talk about three ways that you can sound more natural in your speaking exam. So remember that our strategies are directly linked to what the examiner is looking for, and our three key system has helped thousands of students get the scores they need on IELTS. So let's get to the tips. So why do you want to sound more natural? Well, that's how you get a seven or higher, okay? A six student is someone who um, can talk. <laughs> they can talk about almost anything, but they sound like a student, okay? So the key to getting a seven or higher is to get native speaker features into your communication. So that's what we're talking about. So the first way to do that, and you've heard me mention this before, I think um, using informal fillers. So natives don't just like directly cleanly go from sentence to sentence, okay? Nobody does that. Um, we use informal fillers. So for example, well, hmm, I'd say, or yeah, you know, I do love such and such. Okay, so you can get more information about informal fillers on our podcast episode number 413. So go to ielts.allearsenglish.com and check that out. Also guys, while you're there, I'll get to the next two tips in a second. Remember to sign up for your free IELTS video masterclass with me. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash insider for that free class. Okay. Now, the next way to sound more natural, of course, is vocabulary. So the key to that is in part one and part two, use informal language. And I know there are a lot of teachers telling you otherwise, but they are not correct, <laughs> okay? I know what the examiner is looking for. And you have to have a range of vocabulary, not like boring vocabulary or student-y, only academic vocab, no. You have to sound more like a native and we use slang and idioms. So for example, instead of saying, my hometown is convenient, I can walk anywhere, the population is 300,000. Like nobody, nobody talks like that, okay? If you want a six, you could talk like that, but a seven or well higher, a nine, would sound like this. The place I grew up was, how shall I say this, pretty sleepy. Sleepy's good instead of boring. Um, I mean, it was safe, I guess, but not what you'd call stimulating. <laughs> Guys, remember, look below this video. I type all the examples and stuff there. So look down there for these sentences. Okay, the third way is to slow down. Now, I know I speak quickly, but I'm a native speaker. I've been doing this my whole life, so it's different. If you're a non-native speaker, you should slow down a little bit when you talk because that's the only way you're going to be expressive. You have to have space for intonation and stress and all the things you need for a seven or higher in pronunciation. Plus, if you slow down a little bit, the examiner will catch the amazing words you're using. If you talk too fast, they might miss your amazing vocabulary. So you could say, student-y, like I'm looking down at my notes right now, you could say, the sensational takes of the made news outlets feel fuel, fuel the mania. Like you couldn't, you can't even understand what I'm saying there, right? But if I slow down a little bit to let you see how amazing my words are, then it's like this. The sensational takes of the main news outlets fuel the mania. Guys, that doesn't hurt your fluency, slowing down a little bit, not when we're trying to come up with amazing answers. It's natural. Okay, guys, comment on this video with your IELTS questions, and I will try to do a lesson about them in the future. And share this video on social media, you guys, so more people can learn about Three Keys IELTS strategies. And finally, remember, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash insider for your free IELTS masterclass with yours truly. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye, guys.
bonus tip. Get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.